Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Miami Marlins and the Tampa Bay Rays. Standing in, Harold Ramirez. He will lead this one off today. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Down the oh, and it's off the first base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. At the plate, Jonathan VR. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Ramirez aboard here at first with nobody out. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Chirinos uses a split finger fastball as one of his weapons of choice in the arsenal. He can really be very deceptive when that pitch is working. And I'd imagine as a hitter, it's always in the back of your mind. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan Villar. He's running. Got him swinging. The throw is right there as Zanino made that caught stealing look easy. That is Coming to the plate now, the Corey Dickerson, as he'll get his first Corey. opportunity in this one. Dickerson. From the stretch. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. One and one the count now. Lays off the splitter that time, and it's two balls and a strike. Three and one to the Marlins' left fielder. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. 3-2 pitch. He loses him on ball four. Now to the plate, Jesus Aguilar. Man at first after the two-out walk. From the belt, kicks and deals. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will. Now in the box, Willie Adamas. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half we of the got first. For the Ray, the shortstop, Willie Adamas. And the pitch. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball is in there, and that's out number one. That is second. The Stepping into season. the box, Kevin Kevin. Kiermaier. Here, Meyer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Anderson is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases that are empty hurt. here with two gone. Right and Austin Meadows Austin. will be the next to bat. Meadows. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit in the air to left. Dickerson is there and he'll put it away to retire the side.
at the plate. Garrett Cooper, as it'll be five, Pretty six, and seven, due up to kick off the it. second inning. Garrett, he's ready. Here's Cooper. the first offering. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. If he's able to dot that sinker down and away and execute that pitch all day, you're going to see a lot of weak contact, and the infield defense is going to be on its toes. Cooper takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leap with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked stays inside the baseball and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that break and stuff. Ryan Anderson. Stepping up now, Ryan Anderson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Troy is over now and he's got it for route number two. Here's Matt Joyce now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Matt Joyce. First delivery to him on the way. A bouncer to the left side. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Joyce around first. He'll head for second now. Into the box, Jorge Alfaro. As he'll take a look at ball one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. This one's flared off to the right side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The throw home. And he is in there. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. Leading off for the red. No to the plate field. now, Hunter Renfro. Hunter. Renfro. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Batting so fifth. stepping in, Brandon Lowe. Number eight. Here comes the first pitch. This is pulled into right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. Looped out towards short. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one nothing ball game. That is better. At the plate, the first G Man Choi. He'll try and start things Joy. over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Count one and oh. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Into the box now, Miguel Rojas. As we are all set to begin the third the inning in this one. Miguel First pitch on its way. Rojas. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Behind 0-2 now. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Ready for now another back. chance. Right Harold Cooper. Ramirez. Harold a base hit in his first Ramirez. trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounder down the line at third. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Hit on the ground to short. Adamez scoops it up. And there's out number two. 
The Leading in for his second at bat, Jonathan Villar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Now a ball hit hard towards center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. He hit the corner and tries for third. And they've got the runner trapped in a hot box between second and third now. At Up the plate the now, ball. Corey Dickerson. The left As the first pitch oh, misses to him, it's ball Dickerson. one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Two balls and a strike. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Runner breaks for third. Pitch is high. The throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. VR at third with two away. Lifted in the air to center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Late Mike Zanino as we move and on to the bottom of inning number race. three. The catcher. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Zanino. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1-0. Oh, that's inside. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be troubled. He takes the turn and heads for second. Batting nut, the third baseman. And that will bring Yandy. in Yandy Diaz. Yeah. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A runner at second. Nobody out. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. So a definite no RBI Number spot one. here. Runner at Good third, stop. one away. Really? And up next Adamus. will be Willie Adamas. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped up. Aguilar in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Kevin Kiermeyer. And he's got the runners in the corners here with only Kevin. one gun. Kiermeyer. He's set. Here it comes. Popped him up. Rojas over to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Stepping up to the plate, Austin Meadows. And there are runners at the, the corners field. now. Austin Meadows. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Runners on first and third, two away. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. One and two. Here it is. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. From the stretch, the one two. Runners at the corners, two men out. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Joyce coming on. 
He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. The left fielder, number 11, Hunter Into the Renfro. box now, Hunter Renfro. Line drive, base hit to right. The throw to the plate, and not in time as the run scores. And he'll get in there safely. Now batter, number eight. Stepping in now, Brandon Lowe. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. It, and the pitch takes off inside and it gets away. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Second and third, two away. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Dickerson going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. Miami. He'll try to the get it going here to begin the fourth. He's Aguilar. set and the pitch. That yeah, just misses one. off the inside for ball one. 2-0 oh, now. Now the 2-0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. The count now at two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Now another two two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first yeah. out. Now the pitch. Ah, got him fishing that time, 0-1. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now that third baseman. Into the box, Brian, Brian Anderson. Anderson. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Stepping in and ready for another up shot, Matt Joyce. He'll try to follow up the double in his Matt. last at bat with another big hit right here. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Driven nicely into the gap. Now this gets all the way to the wall. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. So now to the plate. Jorge Alfaro. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball. 1-0. One, oh. one for one after a single this first time up. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Pitch popped up. Choi over to his left. And that ends the inning. Riding forward now is the D.H., and Jose Gino Martinez. He set to lead us off the in the home hitter. half of the fourth inning. Okay. One of the keys to securing a win, Martinez. they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home. 
popped up. Aguilar has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the, the corner infielder G Man Choi. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Drilled down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Up next for Tampa Bay, the catcher. So here's Mike Zanino. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Taken, but called a strike. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. So he sets him down Third swinging. Mike Zanino goes down for out number two in the bottom Diaz. half. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Yandy Diaz oh, is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside 1-0. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Here it comes on one and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Here comes the right fielder. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Now at the plate, Miguel Rojas. He'll start the off the fifth in this one. The Things shot. not looking very good Miguel. so far in this one, but we're still Rojas. in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. So now digging batter. in now, right Harold Fielder. Ramirez. Harold. A hit in two tries Ramirez. so far. First pitch on its way. Line toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Up next for the Marlins. At the plate, Jonathan the VR. As he'll Jonathan watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. He's one for two in this one. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Willie Adamas. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Not shortstop. Willie. Adamas. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. Ramirez has it, and it's a quick out number one. So striding now in, that's... Kevin Kiermeyer. He's fielder. hitless in his two Kevin. at bats so far. Kiermeyer. First delivery to him on the way. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Again, another foul ball. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. He's got it. And that's the second out. Trying to pick things up, up where we left bed. off. Austin the Meadows. Right Austin. Meadows. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Stepping in, Corey Dickerson. He flew out in his last at-bat. The left fielder, number 23, 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first Dickinson. pitch. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Ready on one and two. Just hung in there on that one. The next one two pitch. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. So now it'll be the now four back. hole hitter, Jesus Aguilar. And he's likely mm -hmm. just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. Just a tick behind for a strike. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Now so to the plate, the Marlins DH. Yeah. Garrett Cooper, one for two in the ballgame thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. Left side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Now batter. In now, Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson. Now oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Cooper isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He will score. And the deficit is down to only one now. The center fielder. To the seven. plate now, Matt Joyce. Matt. This is line to left. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. Throw yeah. won't get him. Now batter. Into the box now, the Jorge Alfaro. Jorge. As he'll go oh, after oh, a hard oh, sinker yeah. that time and falls behind nothing in one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Here's the two and two. The short hit hard. Adamas picks it up. And a fine play there up the middle may have saved a run as the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. Renfro. Ryan Stanek enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now picking for the Marlins. Number 55, Ryan Stanek. First pitch of the at bat. Swung right over the splitter there, 0 and 1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. He's right there. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now ready once again, Brendan Lowe. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And one this out. one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Hey, this one's tied late in the game as a pitcher right now. You just can't lay a cookie in there. One and oh. Now the one and one pitch. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Jose Martinez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. Long run for the right fielder, but this will land untouched. 0-1, here's the pitch. 
Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Scooped up. Go over to Aguilar at first to take care of him to end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And he popped him up. And Lau is there for the catch. There's one gone. Now Digging in now, Harold like Ramirez. You. He's two Harold for three and looking for Ramirez. more here. Here comes the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Now here it comes. Swing and he pops him up. Meadows coming in on it. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now batting the second baseman, Jonathan Dion. Into the box, Jonathan Villar. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. 0 and one count and the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The one-two gets him swinging. He struck him out. Digging in to try it again. Corey Dickerson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. First offering on its way. And he popped him up. But this will land untouched. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Diaz will put this one away and the side is retired. The traditional seventh-inning stretch. Digging in and looking for more. G-Man Choi will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. From the stretch. And that misses for ball one. Fastball just inside. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. And he's not the kind of swing you're looking for. Three and one as it runs to a full count now. Three and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now so the leadoff man the set down, and here's the catcher, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. No, yeah. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. The 1-1 home. Skied into very shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Digging in, Yandy Diaz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. New inning set to get underway. Digging in, Jesus Aguilar. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. 
So it was a strikeout a swinging. Yeah, Jesus right. Aguilar goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now back. So striding forward now, Brian Anderson, Brian. hoping to build off good. that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Popped him up. And Zanino will put the squeeze on this one to retire the side. Into the box now, Willie Adamas. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Not your stop, Willie Adamas. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. In there, and it's 0-2 now. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. Digging in, oh, Kevin Kiermeyer. He was retired field the ground ball last Kevin. time up. Now time is Kiermaier. called. As both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Your attention, please. So now, with a left-handed hitter one. waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out one. of the bullpen. Adam Conley. He's ready. Here's the first offering. At the ball. Now the 1 0. That's ball two. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. 3 and 0 now. There's a strike with the fastball as he gets back in the count at 3 and 1. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Hit sharply on the ground. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Now batting. The right fielder, Austin. At the plate Meadows. now, Austin Meadows, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. Oh, no balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this Field point. Running. Kiermaier's running. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Throw to first. But he's back in safely. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a liner. In there, the base hit. Now a long throw to third. And with that, the go ahead runs up to second now with only one away. The left fielder, number 11. Now time is called Hunter. as both guys in the bullpen Red are ready Brown. to go. At the plate, Hunter Renfro. As he can't catch up on a fastball oh, at the letters, and it's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. Throw to third, and he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are now loaded back. here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Set. Here it comes. First pitch fastball oh, swung on and missed 0 1. 
He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Dickerson has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Now at the plate, Jose Martinez. The he was a ground out the victim last hitter. time up. Jose Martinez. Your second writer answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Pink hitting for the Rays. Number 18. Joey. Wendell. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. And now, now a crucial spot. The first Base is loaded. Two men gone. And that Joy. brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. <laughs> Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Steckenreiter. Playing here in his age 29 season, he throws a four-seam hey. fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a curveball. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Meadows at third, Renfro on second, Wendell on at first with two down. This is pulled into right, and that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. One run scores. Up next for Tampa Bay, the catcher. Here now is Mike Zanino. And right away, he's baffled by the breaking ball that time at strike one. And he's got an opportunity to turn this narrow lead into a wide one if he can cash in here. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 7-3 ball game. Third baseman, number two. In now, Yandy Diaz. First pitch he has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Brandon Kinsler trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Brandon Hintler. The 1-0 home to short. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Striding into the box, Matt Joyce. And he's working on a three-double game right now. He's set and the pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Ready with the 0-2. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now batting. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Two gone. Now so back. coming to the plate, the Miguel ball. Rojas. Miguel. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Meadows is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. The Tampa Bay Rays posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Jose Alvarado gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Seven runs on nine hits. No errors. They left five men on base.
for the Marlins. Three runs, 11 hits, two errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 18 minutes. Our paid attendance at Tropicana Field this afternoon, a sellout of 31,042. The Rays thank you and hope you'll join us again real soon.